Hey guys, welcome to the Drunk Nerd. This is our Star Wars video. <laughs> Spoilers! Is that YouTube? There is a toy fair in Hamburg, and there's an image. In you hamburgers? Can throw it up right here. The Slave One. Will Boba Fett be in this movie? Well, if it's a traditional Star Wars, then he will make his little old appearance and he'll say, not good to my dad, sir. Some shit like some weird thing. He's gonna and then he'll coffee. roll out and he'll have his sweet fing blaster rifle and he'll just bow, be standing there like this. Bow, and that will be the end of the movie. The whole movie. <laughs> the whole movie. It's five just, and a half it's, minutes. <laughs> it's just him like ordering it. coffee and then shooting his gun because he doesn't want to pay for it. Yes. Yeah. I don't want it's this movie it's to between, exist. It's, <laughs> Uh, we're breaking else. we're breaking eights down into sixteenths here. Is this nine, universe nine? Um, okay, so we have three like and four, analogy. and now we have three point five. But uh, here, here's what's cool let's about milk this. Milk this yeah, thing. Dry. They're not milking it, dude. It's God, just, I'm gonna fucking fight you. Uh, God, I'm reading castings for a young Han Solo yeah. and talks it's about a Boba Fett solo movie. I, I Boba, Fett, Boba Fett. What what is good about Boba Fett aside from okay, here we he go. shows up here we and there? About this here we go. And he shoots at people, and he's very minimal, <laughs> and that's cool because he's only badass. Colossus says, "You only have to be a hero four, four or five, five times. Moments. You don't have to Spoilers. wake up and brush your teeth and be a hero. I'm a hero. Uh, Spoilers for Deadpool. You have I'm to a, suck a dick and be a hero. For my gums. You just have to be a hero here and there." You just have to be a villain here and there. Spoilers. And that's cool. I think that they should, if they're doing it correctly, they should exist for um, a purpose other than just to tide people over until the next Star Wars movie. And so, if that's the case, I'm all for it. Yes. But if it's just kind of like, oh, well, this is just something cool with a bunch of layers, there's a, maybe a lightsaber here and there, or Darth Vader appearing, yeah. just to tie the kids over and be like, oh, look, it's, it's something Star Wars branded we're pushing out, yeah. then I'm not, I'm not for it. And that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like this movie is going to be that. They can just make whatever they want. and Right. Um, they can bring Darth Vader back. Right. Because Darth Vader's popular. Right, and that's what they're that's what they're going for. He's the most iconic so, character of all time. And like honestly it Right, would, so exploit it be, the shit out of him. Yes, of course. Why <laughs> it would, not? It would be cool to see him again, but if that's the only reason they're doing it, not to serve the story, then Exactly. But that's it's gonna my serve concern. the story because it's right before New Hope. Well I mean, okay, you, you think that and I think that I want that to be the truth, but I don't know that that's the truth. And if it doesn't happen to be okay. if it doesn't actually serve anything, it's just like cool like bling, then I'm not cool <laughs> with it. It's just like reading the comics. It's just like reading the books. It's not necessary for you to watch this movie to be able to watch the rest of them. Oh, it's going to be the the whipped cream on top of the pie. It's going to be the little you know the little bit that you don't need to watch. You don't have to go see Rogue One to understand what's going on in A New Hope. But that brings up the next point that I was going to make is you guys said, well, if it's just you know if they're going to put Darth Vader in here just to say it's Darth Vader in the movie. Let's yeah. talk about A New Hope for a second. The first five minutes of A New Hope are Darth Vader and the, the Stormtroopers coming in and shooting everybody. Uh, Leia is get caught giving the Death Star plans to R2, and then R2 and C C-3PO go off the planet, land on where Luke is, Tattoo. and then that's where the story starts. Hawk 2. Um, not Hawk 2. I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue One would be... Directly right before that. So I'm assuming Rogue One will end with Darth Vader about to walk up on that shit. That would be cool. Because it's literally, the if the the plot has been about, you know, these the, this team of rebels that are trying to steal the Death Star plans. And I've heard that it's going to be basically Black Hawk Down. It's going to be a very military movie. So yeah, it's, I don't know, I think it's, it's definitely not needed, like you guys said. I don't think it's meant to milk money. But I do think it adds to the lore of Star Wars. And like I said, you don't have to see this movie if you don't want to. But it's going to add to the death of Star Wars. I, I think if, if it's done right, like like we're hoping and like it should be, it will add to, add to the death. But I think that the the for the executives to get behind making it, there has to be a point made to like, oh, this will make money. I mean, yes, obviously. It this has is to not make a money, money issue. Like, okay, so... 
I'm I've been well aware of Rogue One. I've been way okay with it. I'm cool with the story. Like we yeah. don't need it, Go but ahead, then good. you're you're gonna fucking throw a slave one and like tease Boba Fett in this. We don't need it. Yeah, we don't no. fucking need Boba. No, Fett. we don't. You're Not talking a solo film. You're talking Han Solo. Stop tickling our balls. We <laughs> don't need it. We've got it. <laughs> Han Solo is rumored. The new Han Solo actor is rumored to show up in this movie. <laughs> she punched him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, there, no. Yeah. The the Han Solo young Han Solo. There was mm. somebody that suggested mm. that somebody I've never heard of, mm. and he looks perfect. Yeah. He did better Holy than the guy I was f- about. I don't know. Maybe it was a guy. I don't. I don't know. But the one of the guys I saw that was rumored to be like uh, uh, in the in the running. Holy fucking yeah. shit! I will watch that movie. Yeah. Don't ruin it. Don't put. Too many cherries on my Sunday. No, yeah, I totally I don't get it. need all that shit. I cherries aren't that good. The reason yeah, I think they're going to do it is because they're like, okay, we've we've got this Han Solo film coming out. We want to let people know that this is going to be a thing. It could literally be people, a glimpse of Even a if he one. just shows up and he's like, I need... Or if someone's talking about, we need to get this to somewhere. And he just shows up and he's like, I can do that for you. And that's all he says, the entire thing. Yeah, I'm Boba still Fett, stuck too. on the Boba Fett thing, like... That is the the Luke Skywalker to my Force Awakens. Yeah. Do not f with it. Like Split. just diddle it. Yeah. A little for totally. a second. I completely at agree. Best. If if uh, this is supposed to be taken between three and four, if they do young Han Solo, it can't be that much younger than the version that you see on screen. Right. If it leads up directly yeah. to the well, movie. because he's been busy. I think he's. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's probably in his late twenties in the New Hope, maybe in his yeah, yeah early thirties, right, yeah. so, right around thirty. Yeah, so they could find someone a little bit younger than that for I Rogue could be One. Han Solo. Yeah, <laughs> in a New Hope. Sorry. So, do you think that this is going to take place like five years before it did, like lead up? To... I think it's going to be immediately before a New Hope. Okay. They may go a little bit in time. They may pass a little bit of time, but I think. The end of the movie will be right before New Hope. I have All a theory. I have a real Arrow. theory. Oh shit! Here we go. It's an origin story. Okay. <laughs> For okay. General Akbar. <laughs> it's a trap. He doesn't say that in this movie, but he'll get there. I'm into. There will be like a. It's he, a. He says well, little letters a, in that sentence. Okay, we can stop because he's feeling sick and we've said pretty much all we need to say. Are you guys excited for Rogue One? Yeah. Excited enough. Yes. I still haven't kissed anybody. Good job, me. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get sick. So. <laughs> I'm Luke. Thank you guys for watching. This has been our Star Wars video. You can follow me on Twitter at Luke Jenners. I'm Connor. Thank you for watching. This has been our Star Wars video. You can follow me on Twitter at Connor underscore Jones. And on Instagram at Connor Jones, both with an E. <laughs> I'm Ryan, and this is a Star Wars guy. His name's Finn, and he has blood streaks on his face, and it's really cool. And good luck finding this in stores because it's really hard to find, so f you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>